Andrew with KUSA, here today to show you how to put on our new mag ramp for the KS-12. In the interest of time, I've removed the furniture uh, from this model, so we're going to be using this. You don't have to do this, but it definitely makes it easier. I'm going to start by showing safe, checking clear, move our flag, put it back on safe. All right. It is highly recommended that you use some sort of steady rest in order to uh, accomplish this assembly process. I'm going to be using a block, a center punch, our mag ramp, the included pin, and the included assembly alignment tool. So first thing we're gonna do is get the gun situated to where we can apply a specific amount of force to the magazine catch pin. We need to make sure that this is really well fixtured so that we don't cause any vibrations, miss, anything like that. So I'm gonna be moving this up against the wall and supporting the mag catch with the block. I wanna make sure that there's no way that this is gonna be rotating when we hit it with the punch. Then we're gonna take our center punch and align it with the hole. Make sure that we get a center punch that's not going to be hitting around the outside edges of the hole. And then we're gonna drive the pin a couple of taps. Now, once the pin is proud of the other side of the magazine catch, we're going to take our ramp and we are going to align it over the protruded pin on the other side, making sure that the notch on the ramp is aligned correctly. Now that that's in place, the holes should line up for the magazine catch pin. We're going to take our alignment tool and place it inside of the hole. And then we are going to continue to drive the pin until we receive a sufficient amount of engagement from the pin on the other side of the mag block. Currently, there's not enough. So we're gonna to continue to go. Now, with sufficient engagement on the other side, the mag lock is ready for the second pin. We'll take our second pin, align it into the hole, and begin to drive it. The last couple millimeters will take a little bit more force. installed. Make sure both sides that there's no damage. This hole will be used with the alignment tool to drive out the pin if you ever want to remove the block from the firearm. Lastly, we're going to check fitment. There you have it, all ready to go.